صباح الخير لكل المشاهدين اللي عم بيتابعونا اليوم بحلقه جديده من احلى صباح. ضيفنا التالي انضم للخدمات الدوليه الهنديه بال 1997 ولكن وصل على بيروت مع عائلته بال 2009 تيكون سفير الهند بلبنان. دكتور سهيل عجاز خان ضيفنا بالاستوديو تنحكي معه اكثر عن تجربته بلبنان. ويلكم دكتور سهيل يور اكسلنسي هاو ار يو توداي؟ ثانك يو جوزيف ثانك يو فور هافينج مي اون يور شو اند جيفينج مي ان اوبورتونيتي تو توك تو يور اودينس about uh, about my stay in Lebanon. We are so, so honored to have you here in our studios. So we want to talk about uh, your experience here in Lebanon as the ambassador of India. Can you, how do you assess your experience in Beirut? Uh, I've been here for three years. Mm. I came in June 2019 and very soon I'm completing my mission and leaving. Uh, these three years have been wonderful. And uh, I must say, I met a lot of friends. I met a lot of nice people. Uh, Lebanon is a beautiful country. I, I really fell in love with this country and the people here. And uh, professionally also, I was uh, lucky to get support from uh, all the officials here at, in various ministries. And we were able to achieve quite a lot. So mm. I'm going with a uh, uh, lot of fond memories and, uh, and satisfaction. سألته لسعادة السفير شو كانت كيف بيقيم تجربته ببيروت وكان عم بيذكر انه لقى دعم كثير كبير من عدة جهات معنية وكمان عمل كثير صداقات وهلا رح يكون عم يختم ثلاث سنين من هيدي التجربة تبعه وكمان الولاية اللي كان هو فيها هون كسفير مع كثير من الذكريات الحلوة رح اساله هلا للسفير عن الوضع الايكونوميك ايكونوميك كرايسيس او الازمة المادية اللي عم يقطع فيها لبنان وشو رأيه فيها What do you think about the current economic crisis that Lebanon is going uh, through? Well, no doubt it is a very challenging situation. Mm. And uh, I came in 2019, so I have actually seen the, seen the evolution yes. of this <laughs> economic crisis. So certainly it is, it is a challenging uh, situation, but, uh, uh, but uh, you, you know, things have, have improved uh, a little bit, and I think, uh, you know, they would improve over a period of time. Uh, I have no doubt uh, Lebanese people are smart, you have a strong diaspora to help the country. So eventually you will definitely come out of it. Uh, there are two sectors I would uh, like to mention. One is the tourism sector and the banking sector. Mm. And these have been traditionally the mainstay of economy in Lebanon. And tourism sector is already showing recovery. We had a very good uh, summer season, very good winter season. But uh, I think what is needed uh, is the banking sector. Mm. And if you are able to fix the banking sector, regain the confidence of the depositors, of the investors, I think a lot of things will automatically improve mm. once uh, the money comes into the system. So these are the things uh, I, I think are important. But apart from that also, there are reforms that... You know, they are well known, which, uh, which are to be undertaken. Uh, in long term, you need to do more indigenization in the economy. You need to reduce your dependence on imports. So all these mm. things, I think, will fall in place. But uh, I think the immediate focus should be on uh, tourism and the banking sector. Yes, I'd But like uh, I'm, I'm hopeful. I have absolutely no doubt that... Uh, with, uh, with the kind of resilience you have and the smart people, with the uh, support of the diaspora, you will uh, come out of it fine. We hope so. We all yeah, hope definitely. So. <laughs> no, definitely. And then you can always count uh, on partners like India. Of course. Yeah. ذكر السفير انه الازمه الماديه اللي عم يقطع فيها البلد هو تحدي كثير كبير ولكن اللبنانيه اذكياء وبيقدروا كمان يطلعوا منها وتكون على المدى البعيد احسن واحسن وتتحسن وخاصه مع وجود المغتربين كمان معنا على جنبنا وعم بيعطونا الدعم وعم بيقول انه لازم نركز على قطاعين اللي هن السياحه والقطاع المصرفي اللي كمان لازم يكونوا شوي شوي هن عم بيتحسنوا مع الوقت والسياحه بلشنا نشوف تحسن لها ولكن القطاع المصرفي بده شويه شغل ولكن هو بي all and في كثير امل وعم بشوف كثير ايجابيه لقدام can you enlighten us about the areas of cooperation between india and lebanon well uh, we india and lebanon uh, have very friendly relations very mm. warm relations we have diplomatic relations since 1950s and we were one of the few countries which continue to have its embassy even during the civil war 
Mm. So we have always been here as a strong partner and friend of Lebanon. Uh, overall bilateral relations, uh, you know, many things have happened in past, many things are happening. Our trade is expanding, which is a good sign. Uh, we are doing a lot on the training of the Lebanese civil servants. Mm -hmm. We have a program called as ITEC. So through it, uh, a lot of Lebanese civil servants go to India for various training programs. A lot of defense personnel also have gone training in India. And apart from that, uh, we have uh, activities on the cultural front, on the academic front. Overall, I would say we have excellent bilateral relations. And I am satisfied that in the last three years, we have been able to diversify these relations, make them more strong. So mm. I, I think our relations are really on a, on a positive trajectory. Definitely. ذكر سعادة السفير لما سألته عن العلاقة بين الهند ولبنان ذكر أن العلاقة ودية لأنه بترجع كتير لورا وحتى من الخمسينات والهند كانت أحد الدول اللي كان عندها سفارة بلبنان حتى بالحرب الداخلية اللي كانت عم بتصير كمان وذكر أنه في كتير تجارة عم تتطور بين البلدين وفي كتير مشاريع كمان كتير لبنانية عم بيروحوا على الهند وكتير كمان أشخاص من الهند عم بيجوا على لبنان تشاركوا بهيدا المشاريع Tell us a little bit about the progress that uh, that was made the Indo between the Indo-Lebanese relations, especially uh, in the political uh, front during your tenure here in Lebanon. Uh, on political front, uh, we recently had a very good visit by our Vice Minister of uh, Foreign Affairs. Mm -hmm. He was here in October, <laughs> and he had a very wide-ranging uh, consultations with the uh, Honorable Minister of Foreign Affairs with. Uh, uh, the Secretary General in Foreign Affairs with the Governor of Beirut. So we discussed uh, quite a lot of uh, things. And in general, uh, India and Lebanon, we always cooperate on the international organizations, mm. whether it is United <coughs> Nations or UNESCO. We have always been uh, coordinating with each other. We have always been cooperating with each other. And uh, Lebanon is a very important player uh, in these international organizations, especially as a as a you know as a part of the global south mm -hmm. and we always coordinate uh, quite a lot with them on the political front since we have uh, we have mentioned the un and the unesco yes. and what do you think about the, the role of the unifil and especially the indian uh, battalion in particular uh, in maintaining peace and the southern bound, uh, borders in lebanon well uh, unifil is uh, playing a great role mm -hmm. they have been here for uh, many years and I think their presence is very much needed for maintaining stability and uh, peace uh, on the southern border. And I am very proud to say that Indian participation in UNIFIL has been excellent. We have been a part of the UNIFIL for 24 years. And all the Indian battalions have mm. performed their activities in a very professional manner. At the same time, they have a very good connect with the local population. And they've always uh, got a lot of love and respect from the local people. And they do a lot of activities for the local people also, especially on the medical side, on the veterinary side. Uh, during my tenure, we have done some projects in the South Lebanon uh, mm -hmm. with our Indian battalion. So overall, uh, yes, UNIFIL has a very important role. And we are proud of our participation in UNIFIL. Uh, but one thing I must say that the safety of the peacekeepers also is very important mm. uh, so that they can perform their activities uh, in a safe and secure way. Of course. سألت لسعادة السفير عن دور الكتيبة الهندية اليونيفل بشكل عام والكتيبة الهندية بشكل خاص على الحدود اللبنانية وعلى الحفاظ على السلام وذكر أنه المشاركة عم بتكون كمان كتير كبيرة وبكون كمان الكتيبة الهندية عم بتقوم بدور كتير مهم للأشخاص اللي عايشين كمان على الحدود إن كان من أنشطة وغيرها كمان وعم بيكون علاقتهم مع اليونيفل كتير مهمة وكتير كبيرة Recently we have heard since we, were, we mentioned also the medical projects yes. we have heard about the Jaipur food camp which is yes. about the limb fitment, yes. which is going to be a big project. About yes. 300 uh, uh, artificial uh, parts are going yes. to be distributed. Tell yes. us more about this. Uh, we, we are going to organize this, uh, as you said, uh, limb fitment uh, camp mm. uh, in, uh, in Beirut. Yeah. And it would be a camp for three weeks where we are going to provide and fit 
300 artificial limbs mm. and these limbs are called as Jaipur foot and these are very versatile artificial limb uh, you know they allow you all the movement you can run you can walk uh, you can even pray offer salah yes, so of these are very flexible very durable uh, uh, artificial limb and this camp uh, will be for for anyone to come and benefit from it, this will be in Rafi Khariri Hospital, mm -hmm. and we are very thankful to the hospital, to the Ministry of Health, to collaborate with us on this. Yes, and uh, I, I, you know, I invite uh, everyone who would uh, want to benefit from this to approach us and to benefit from it. It's a free camp, and the uh, limbs are fitted to the people on the spot. Within a couple of hours, we take their measurement. They customize the limb and then fit it. Mm -hmm. So a person could come on a wheelchair, but he just goes back walking or even running. And this is very high tech. It we is very high that. tech. Mm. The Jaipur foot, uh, they have done camps in more than 50 countries across the globe. In mm. fact, uh, they did one camp here in 2008 in mm -hmm. South Lebanon, where they provided about 200 limbs. So it is very high tech. It is very well known. It is a very high quality limb. And uh, we are very happy to organize this here. Salto mm. Lasat, the Safir and Mashrua Kadam Jaipur, or Jaipur Foot Camp, اللي هو كمان بيكون مشروع كتير كبير مخيم عم بيقدموا فيه 300 طرف اصطناعي عم بيقدروا يركبون لأشخاص ناقصة هيدول الأطراف ورح يكون هيدا بالتعاون مع وزارة الصحة وكمان بمستشفى رفيق الحريري كمان اللي رح يكون مجاني لكل الأشخاص وهيدا المشروع هاي تاك يعني متطور جدا ورح تكون القدم عم تمنح للشخص كمان القدرة على الركض والمشي ويقوم بكتير عدة أنشطة غيرها uh, Your Excellency tell us a little bit about the very activities that uh, was carried by the Imb Indian Embassy in the area of the cultural uh, exchange between Lebanon and India? Well, on the cultural side, we do organize a lot of activities here. And uh, we have done a lot of, uh, uh, a lot of cultural activities, seminars, sports activities. And we work with our partners, and particularly some of the partners which are very close to us are like the elite center in Tripoli. We have mm -hmm. been doing a lot of activities with them. With the Magzumi Foundation, we have done many activities. Now in the embassy, we have a full-time dance teacher mm -hmm. who is offering free dance classes. So any of your viewers want to benefit from it, <laughs> they can come and join the That's free nice. dance classes. And these are both on classical side and the popular Bollywood side. Mm -hmm. Uh, we are also offering uh, free yoga classes, so anyone wants to benefit from that. So these these are ongoing activities. In August this year, we had a we had a very very good uh, dance troupe which mm -hmm. came from India, and they performed in South Lebanon, in uh, in Saida, in Beirut, and it was very well received. And we would be happy to send a Lebanese uh, dance or musical troupe to India. Mm. so that uh, people in India can also uh, learn a little bit about uh, more about your culture, your music, your dance. So Definitely. these are the things uh, that we have been doing. Another mm. thing I wanted to mention, uh, mm. you know, Mahatma Gandhi, when we talk about him, he's an international personality, as you know. Mm. And there is an award named after him, given by a very good foundation in India, called the Jamnalal Bajaj Award. Mm -hmm. And this year, they have given an award to two Lebanese nationals mm -hmm. for outstanding work on the Gandhian ideology. And uh, this is Dr. Ogerith Yunan and Dr. Walid Silbai. They also have established a unity on the non-violence here. So this is also a very important component of our outreach here. Of course. سألته لسعادة السفير عن التبادل الثقافة بين الهند ولبنان وقال انه عم بيقوموا بالشراكة مع العديد من الشركة هون مثل مخزومي فاونديشن بالعديد من النشاطات كرمال يقربوا الثقافتين من بعض وعم بتقوم السفارة كمان بإعطاء دروس رقص ودروس يوغا مجانا لكل الأشخاص اللي عبالة كمان تشترك أو تعرف أكثر فيهم يتوجهوا ويعرفوا إن كان بالرأس الكلاسيكي أو رأس البوليوود كمان وذكر كمان انه بيقاب 
كان في جروب كتير كبير لرأس إجا من الهند وكان عم بيشارك بعدة أداءات من بيروت لصيدا وكتير غيرهم تنشر كمان الثقافة الهندية وكمان قال السفير إنه بيحب كتير إنه يجي جروب من لبنان على الهند كرمال كمان يعرف الأشخاص اللي هونيك على الثقافة اللبنانية وعلى الرأس الهندي بالتحديد وكمان ذكر إنه جائزة ماتما غاندي اللي كانت كتير معروفة بالهند أعطيت لشخصين لبنانيين اللي اشتغلوا كمان على هذا الموضوع Your Excellency, because we have talked about uh, you know everything that was going yes. on during these three years, yes. you are coming to the end of your tenure yes. right now in Lebanon. Yes. How do you, uh, what do you see, what's coming for you? What do you see the situation in Lebanon right now at this, uh, you know, at the end of the tenure? Well, as I said, you know, the economically situation is challenging, mm. but I think it will it will improve. I am I am optimistic, and I I know. Uh, the Lebanese people are smart, they know how to overcome their difficulties. Mm. So my, my message to them is that keep it up, keep it it's up. a beautiful country, you are beautiful people, keep this up and you can always count on India as a strong and steady partner in everything that you would need. Thank you so much for this. قال سعادة السفير انه بنهاية ولايته كمان بيقول لكل الشعب اللبناني انه يضلوا قوية لانه بلدكم كتير حلو انتم شعب كتير ذكي ولازم نضل قوية والهند دايما موجودة حد لبنان بحالة شي بيعوزه وخليكم دايما عم بتقوموا بالعمل المنيح والعمل القوي. Thank you so much your excellency for being here. I would like to thank you again for the three years that you have given to Lebanon and for being here with, for this interview and I hope the whole all Lebanese people had a little more idea about the Indian embassy and the Indian culture and their work here in Lebanon. Thank you so much, Dr. Suhail Ajaz Khan. And uh, I wish you, I don't know what, where your trip is going to take you, but I wish you the best of luck for what's coming. Thank you, Joseph. And thank you very much for giving this uh, opportunity to me to talk to your audience. Course, and it's an honor. Uh, I also want to thank uh, all my Lebanese friends, all my acquaintances, all the officials with whom I have uh, the honor to work in past three years. My Lebanese staff in the embassy mm. who have been the strong pillar of uh, our relationship. I want to thank all of you to make my uh, stay here comfortable, wonderful, memorable, and also professionally uh, satisfying. So I'm going with a lot of fond memories and uh, uh, we'll keep in touch uh, definitely. And all the best to this beautiful country, all the best to the people of this beautiful country. Thank you so much. Thank, and thank you, you for the work that you have done personally and the embassy in general. Thank you so much. ذكر كمان سعادة السفير انه بنهاية الولاية تبعه كمان بده يشكر كل الاشخاص اللي اشتغل معهم، الاصدقاء اللي تعرف عليهم، كمان الطاقم العمل اللي كان معه بالسفارة وكل المسؤولين اللي كانوا حدوا كمان بهالولاية. Thank you so much again. Thank you, Joseph.